Welcome back to Friend Ever. Hey everyone, welcome back to Friend Ever. I first would like to apologize for not dropping a video last week. I have entered into a new season of my life. I am now a student teacher at an elementary school. It's part of my degree program. I am so close to being done. Last week was quite overwhelming for me. And when it came time to shoot a video, I was so uninspired and I was colossally overwhelmed with this new season. But Friend Ever will not be put on the back burner. I am determined to see this through to be a success and to be an asset, a benefit to anybody who would like to be a part of this family and continue to watch and grow alongside of it. That being said, it has been a while since we've done a thought experiment. So we are taking out our copies of the 365 Know Yourself journal and we are flipping over to number 11, the 11th prompt of the book. The prompt reads, how do you plan? Now this could be perceived one of two ways I say, and, and they're quite opposites really. One being, I don't plan, I have no reason to plan, what kind of question is that? Others being, oh yeah, I love the way that I plan, I love how it's a part of my routine and how that is part of who I am is to plan things. The reason that I even bring this prompt up today is I actually just got a interesting story told to me a couple hours ago. I teamed up with a private academy, actually <laughs> a local academy, uh, who's used both the devotional and the 365 journal in their curriculum this year, which is a huge honor, but it's, and they were on prompt 11 today. and they were going through it and one kid opened up their journal and said I don't plan which prompted me to think "Ooh, I wonder if people even considered why it's important to plan or how that affects your life so planning does not have to be this requirement that it, it has to match other people's style of doing things right some people are meticulous they write down every single thing that they have to do they live by this if anything has changed it's a tailspin for them so deeply ingrained in their routine other people just kind of write down what matters here and there uh to-do lists I, I know that there's a season in my life where i felt like everyone around me is doing a to-do list so therefore i have to do one too when that's not really my style of my way of doing things and then there's still others that just fly by the seat of their pants and they remember stuff or they don't remember stuff and eh, it doesn't matter. Not one of these ways is more wrong or right than the others. Obviously you don't want to be irresponsible and a bad friend by just flying by the seat of your pants and ignoring your friends or, or plans that have been made, but it really is comes down to how does it work for you. Just like when you are a kid and just like when you're actually at any stage in life, People have different ways of learning. Some people are visual learners, audio learners, kinetic learners, like there's different ways and there's different planners too. So when you think of this prompt, how do you plan? Actually take a second to think, okay, do I have to write stuff down? No, okay, then what do I do? How do I remember stuff? Do I put it in my calendar? Do I just happen to remember it? And what would happen if I did forget something? Would something, would it be a suboptimal point of my friendship or my relationship with someone if I did forget it? So how does that work? I know way too often times I rely on my sister because we are usually a part of the same things and I typically forget something or don't write it down and put it in my calendar then I will forget so I'm trying to get better about that but as far as planning like out say my responsibilities what I have to do I plan by making a list of everything that needs to be done whether that's in a calendar and then saying okay this has got to be done by this this has got to be done by this and the reason I had to get to that point is because in high school, I was a terrible procrastinator. It was like detrimental and it could have been very detrimental in my future if I had not gotten that under control. So now, as long as I know what I'm doing, that's a huge part for me. I've got to know what's expected of me, then I can plan accordingly. So that's just me. Anyways, how do you plan? Think about it, write it down. If you don't have your copy of the journal yet, that's fine. Get out a piece of paper, write prompt 11. How do you plan? Take a few minutes of reflection write down what works for you and try to implement maybe a new strategy. If it doesn't work out, go back to what works for you. It's all about the journey of self-discovery and learning more about yourself and how to be a better person and a better friend. That being said, here at Friend we have some new things. The Be Heavenly Minded shirt is on the website. It is one of my favorites. It's actually, I did a video about it about, um, oh, it's flipped up right now. I don't even know if you can see it. There's a sticker right there that says Be Heavenly Minded. You can watch that video right here. It's actually the sticker that I have on my phone that I carry with me all the time as just a reminder. But now, I love that phrase so much, I put it into a t-shirt and there's a couple different colors so you can check that out. Also if you're a fan of the baseball hat, the flat bill cap, we've got those too. I never right across the top. It's got a nice sturdy bill to it. You can twist it, do all that stuff and those are on the website. Lastly, my new favorite piece that I just got, the Life is Better with Friends crew neck. 
This comes in um, the crew neck form with the teal letters and the patch on the left arm. Also it comes in a hoodie form with the pink lettering uh, also patch on the left arm. So if you're interested in rocking some cool merch, check out our website prendever.net slash shop and you can see the whole collection there. There's far more to it than what I've shown here, but this is my newest acquisitions part of the merch. So I thought I would share it. Thank you so much for stopping by friend ever. Gotta fix my hat here now. Again, I apologize I didn't get to it last week. It was seriously overwhelming. So keep me in your purse. I'm trying to get through this season. It's very important to me to keep friend ever toward the front of my priority list. So pray for me. Friendship is a journey. It's an endeavor. I will see you next time on friend ever.